guys, welcome back to Say What Reacts. We are back again with a new face here. Yay! This is Jerika. <laughs> I'm super excited to have her. Um, so have you ever actually listened to any like K-pop or anything like that? No, not, not even BTS? No. Ooh, not even BTS, guys. So she's a quiet one, so we're going to put the mic in front of her, okay? okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so she has not listened to any K-pop or anything like this. So um, when you hear, uh, uh, okay, so for the first video, let me back up for a second. The first video I'm going to show her, I gave her a choice between live vocals first or YXO is the nation's pick. And she picked YXO is the nation's pick, so that's the first one we're going to get into so she can see just how awesome this band is and why these guys are just amazing. So, um, yeah, they they pretty much have dominated everywhere in the world. They've just never come to America. So, okay. hopefully it will happen soon. We will see. But, um, yeah, hopefully it's coming sooner than later. Um, and we'll, we'll do the live vocals, you know, later, guys. Um, but, yeah, so I've given her a little bit of background on the group. And, you know, that there's 12, there's now 9, all that good stuff. So, um, but yeah, the, uh, when they, when they do sing, it's mostly in Korean. They will have English words with it as well, though. They okay. always throw in like little, little snippets of English here and there as well. So if you're like, did that, that, that sounded like English, it probably was. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, well, let's just get into the video. Um, I'll probably be pausing it because a lot of info is on the screen and, um, it goes by kind of quickly. So we want to make sure we catch everything that they're saying. So if I pause it, don't get mad at me. I'm just, you know, making sure I'm being informative. All right, guys, let's get into it and let's start. So those are all the numbers. Okay. So that's the altar venue. That's one of their songs. I want to turn it down just a little bit. So we are one. That's like their um. That's like their slogan. Okay. So their first one was June 2013. And they were very excited, as you can see. Sold one million copies. Uh, first group in 12 years to well, honestly, sell. I'm not looking at the words. I'm just looking. <laughs> <laughs> so they were looking for, no, it's okay. I'll break it. I'll, I'll read it to you. You can just enjoy okay. the visuals while I break it down. It's cool. Um, so uh, XOXO was their first like album, and they okay. sold over a million copies. Uh, they won Best Selling Album of the Year. Um, it was the first, I think, K-pop artist to, to um, in 12 years to win or to sell over a million copies. Okay. So. That was uh, 2013. First day sing um, of uh, 2013 for um, the MMA Song of the Year. So uh, it was the um, Mellon Music Awards. Okay. Uh, so day sing is, it's kind of like a Grammy. So like oh, we have okay. like the Grammys, it's basically that. Gotcha. So as you can see, they're very excited. First ever album of the year um, for Mama, which is another album, 2013. So he's like, I'm going to remember this exact time. They're so young too. Yeah. Never forget this. We'll always work hard. So Overdose is their next um, like album, and they uh, break broke record broke records. I can't talk with yeah. over six hundred sixty thousand copies pre ordered before the album even released. First concert was the Lost Planet. Fastest concert sold out in one point uh, four seven seconds. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> I would buy it too if I knew what they were saying, but it's really good. It's weird because I'm like a major lyrics person. Like, yeah. I like singing along with everything. Like, I need to know what they're saying and yeah. I have to be able to sing to it. But even though I'm like super like major lyrics person, I just absolutely love these guys. They're just, I don't know, I just, their talent is just beyond, I don't know. Sure. I've never listened to K-pop before them. Like, okay. never. So, this was my first experience in K-pop and I'm kind of, I'm a little bit obsessed. <laughs> <laughs> XOL is like the name of their fans. Okay. <laughs> album and artist they sang in um, 2014 again. Like how old are they? Um, they are, um, when they first debuted, they were ages 18 to... I'm thinking they were like in their, like, I don't know, like 15. Like, <laughs> they, so all look, they all look really young, I know. Um, but they, I think they were ages 18 to 22, I think, when they first debuted, um, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, because it's been six years and the oldest one is now 28. So, yeah. So, 18 to 22 when they first debuted. They're now 24 to 28. Wow. So, yeah. They've been together six years. 
Okay, the reason why he's saying everyone thinks that 2014 is a black year for EXO is because that's the year, uh, like, three of the members left. Well, pretty much. That's you know, okay. two of the members have left by then. 2015, the third member left. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Mama is, a, is an award show. He's the last Chinese member that's left. His name's Lei. You know everyone of them? Yeah. <laughs> So Exodus was the next album. It's best-selling album of the year again. Okay. Double million sellers. Fastest sold-out concert in 0.4 seconds this time. Again? Yeah. They actually, it's not in this video, but this concert after this, um, which I think is Exordium, um, they beat that record and it sold out in 0.2 seconds. <laughs> So getting like a concert ticket is like winning the lottery. I mean, you're lucky if you can get a concert ticket. Wow. Yeah, I want to see them. Like Jay Z and Beyonce. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, like even American artists have never sold out a concert that fast. Like it's insane. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and this is obviously what you're hearing is one of their songs. Fastest ever to hold a concert at the Tokyo Dome. Tokyo Dome is like gigantic. First ever Korean Dome concert in history. Um, most pre-ordered album ever. First album to sell over 100,000 copies in one day. They can dance too. Oh yeah. Most albums sold in the first week. Yeah. Triple million sellers. Highest ever subunit album sales, ExoCBX. So, ExoCBX is three of the members of EXO. Um, so during their off time, they all kind of go and they like kind of do their own thing, whether it's acting, whether it's um, solo album type stuff, whether it's... Uh, modeling, um, all kinds of stuff. Okay. Um, these three guys, from what I heard, like these three, they weren't really doing much um, of, of like their own little things, I guess because they just yeah. didn't want to or whatever. Well, Chen does a lot of actually uh, collaborations with things. But anyway, um, so I guess someone in the company was like, why don't you guys form like a little a little group, like a subunit? And okay. so CBX stands for their name, Chen, Baekhyun, and Schumann. So, and that's Chen, Baekhyun, and Schumann. Not that you're going to remember any of these right away, but that's not. okay. <laughs> that's okay. It's the best-selling Korean magazine issue all time, W Magazine. First artist to win all three Day Sang categories in 2017. They're obviously very emotional about it. First ever to win um, Day Sang's four years in a row. Wow. Youngest K-pop to hold a concert at the Olympic Stadium, Jasmine Olympic Stadium. Two concerts, $72,000 per concert. Tickets sold out in under 30 minutes. At a $72,000, or 72,000 person. First time in 17 years to sell out the stadium. The War, most pre-ordered album in K-pop history. Uh, most album sales in the first day and week after. Quadruple million sellers. First ever to win Dang Day Sang five years in a row. First ever K-pop song to be used in the world's largest fountain show in the Dubai Fountain. Most Day Sangs ever at 24. Great. Most music show wins ever at 106 music show wins. And they actually hold a, oh, never mind. I thought this, it's, it's not over yet, just kidding. <laughs> So they were also chosen to perform at the Olympics closing um, ceremony earlier this year for the Winter Olympics. Um, so yeah. Um, also, they hold a Guinness World Record for um, like the most day saying wins as well. So yeah. Like so that's a. I, I, and I and like you, you have to think. How the heck have we never heard of these people? With all of that, that's what my first thought was. Like, uh -huh. how have I never heard of these people? I mean, I know obviously they don't, they're not, they're in another country and stuff, but with that much like fame and popularity and awards and everything, it's like, how the heck have we never heard of these people? Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it is. But yeah. So what do you think so far? I like it. I like I like the beat. I like the song. Oh, power. Okay, so yeah, that was the, that song was power. Um, that was actually one of the songs they performed at the Olympic ceremony, which okay. obviously power. I've got that power. Yeah, obviously. I heard that part. Yeah, exactly. You're like that, <laughs> that was English. I heard, I heard that, that part. part. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. So we are gonna move on to the next video. Stay tuned for the next video. This is just a little sneak peek into why XO is so amazing. So 
now she knows why they're so amazing. Now she's going to hear why they're so amazing. So stay tuned for the next video where I, tell, I show her all of their vocals. And yeah, we will see you guys in the next video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If there's anything that you think that she would be interested in seeing, please link it below or comment. That would be awesome. And we will see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>